Today I want to take a moment to mark the tragic death of Owen Collins after a short illness. Uh, he passed away on the 1st of February in the care of his family in Lucan and uh, just three months after the untimely and sudden death of his husband Joseph Adala in November. Owen was one of the principal architects of the extraordinary progress and change for LGBTQI people over the last few decades. As one of the founders of Glen, the Gay and Lesbian Equality Network, he was a key driver of legislative reform and progress towards equality for LGBTQI people, and his fingerprints are across much of the groundbreaking change we have seen over the past 20 years. Owen and his colleagues campaigned for many years for decriminalisation and having achieved that in 1993, then campaigned for wide-ranging multi-ground equality legislation in close collaboration with a range of other equality organisations, then worked with the Rainbow Coalition and Labour Minister for Equality and Law Reform, Mervyn Taylor TD, to bring forward the Employment Equality and Equal Status Bills, which were crucial in building a fairer, more equal Ireland for LGBTQIA people and for all those included in the nine grounds of that legislation. Throughout this period, and prior to working on the staff of Glen, Owen worked at Nexus Research uh, for over two decades, and they were key figures in community development across Ireland. As a facilitator, writer, and activist, his capacity for vision and empathy for change placed him at the heart of so many human rights struggles, and his work was always tempered by critical self-scrutiny and genuine humility. His work allowed him opportunities and spaces to make lasting changes in dealing with issues of discrimination, exclusion, and marginalisation. And then with the support of Atlantic Philanthropies, Owen then worked as Glenn's staff, building on the foundation of legislative progress to drive real, meaningful change in the lives of LGBTQIA people. He worked with governments, politicians, including many who are in this house, civil and public servants, and civil society bodies, to ensure that LGBTQIA people could be free and equal. This work included transformative change in education, physical, mental and sexual health, Workplace Immigration Reform, the first research in Ireland on trans equality and in particular the equal recognition and protection of LGBTQI relationships and families. Owen was a member of the government's colleague group that charged a way to marriage and constitution equality for same-sex couples and was instrumental in the group's findings that only marriage equality would deliver that equality. He's one of the principal drivers of the work to secure comprehensive civil partnership legislation, which is possible without a referendum, and the foundations of family recognition legislation, both of which paved the way for the eventual success of that extraordinary referendum in 2015. He leaves an incredible legacy of hard-won progress for LGBTQIA people, and while we still have significant work to do, our task is made easier through the transformational change he was a major part of bringing about. So I'd like to pass on my condolences to the family of Owen Collins and express my personal profound gratitude as a member of the LGBTQIA community for all the work he did to make Ireland a better place for all. A yesterday, Garev Annam. Thank you.